to see you. And we were just talking before we started this interview that we actually did an interview several years ago, but it was on a red carpet. What red carpet was that? It was for the Canada's Walk of Fame, I believe. Yeah, and it was... Um, what, what was your title there? Because you were performing there, but there's a specific title for an artist like yourself who's performing there. It's like, you know, future art or something. Yeah, it was, I think, I believe it was for the Future Artist Showcase. Yeah. Don't quote, me, don't quote me on that, but something like that, yeah. Something like it was, that. It was the new, new artist. Yeah, and they always give a great platform for artists like yourselves because when, you know... When you're in the mix of the Julie Blacks and things like that, it just shows where the future is coming from. And that is definitely you, which is why the future is going to be heading to an iconic stage at an iconic venue that's going to be happening on Tuesday. Where are you going to be performing on Tuesday as we speak coming up? So on Tuesday, it's called the Lemon Stage, and uh, it's a showcase uh, for for artists, all all different um, genres of artists. Uh, on on my bill, uh, we've got myself and some dope uh, pop bands and uh, other pop and R and B singers that I won't name because I believe they are also a surprise. Um, and uh, the, the location is going to be at El Macombo. So I'm so excited to perform live in two years, I think, two odd years, but who's counting? Um, it's been a crazy two years of this pandemic. Uh, not like this, I want to say nonsense, but it's not nonsense. It's definitely reality and um, crazy. It, it's unfortunate, um, but we've all been through it and we've all, suffered in it and now we're slowly but surely coming out of it and getting to watch live performances again and it's just so magical i've never i've never been so appreciative of live <laughs> you know what i mean like live shows in my life before but now i'm just like oh i i i, I just recently watched uh, a live show um uh snow allegra and like she was in town in Toronto and I was just like, oh, I've never appreciated a live performance like this before. But yeah, the pandemic will do that for us. Yeah. And you're going to do that for us, too, and put it on a great show. Um, Lemon Stage has become such a great um, stage for for many artists across this country. I mean, what were your thoughts when you heard that you were going to be on this stage and like, you know, you must have been excited to hear that you're going to be uh, be part of all this. Yes, I'm. I'm so so excited, and I'm so grateful that Lemon Stage and uh, Canadian Music Therapy Fund chose me to be one of the uh, the, the perform performers on the bill. Um, it's I've worked with uh, Canadian Music Therapy Fund before, and they're such a great cause. Firstly, um, during the pandemic, and even before struggling with you know, mental health and, and other um, other difficulties in life, music has really, really played a part in being my therapy for sure. So I really, really genuinely support this cause. Um, and uh, it's just so, I'm so honored to like support it with my own talents, um, you know, and be a performer on the bill for the, the great cause so yeah i'm really excited and there's so many other art like amazing artists on yeah. the, the 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 lemon stage showcase that i'm just like me little old me like i'm i get to be a part of that array of artists it's just it's it's really humbling that's for sure uh let's let's explain why you're on the iconic lemon stage at the iconic elmo combo because you have done a lot in your career um let's even get into the love of music where did that begin because you're from the toronto region correct i am i am from the toronto region i did uh take off take off to la for a bit for like two years or so um this was a while back like maybe um i don't want to date myself but i would say like a good 10 years ago and um and uh it was such a great experience um, 
I then moved back to try. I worked with, I did a lot of good stuff in LA. Um, cause I don't know if you like other people know how LA is. It's, um, it's like a opportunities everywhere and you can just be at a studio and Kesha walks in and then you write a song for Kesha, which is kind of what happened for me. <laughs> um, so I got to write with Kesha and, uh, um, like I landed a, a few um, songs of mine in video games. Sony um, Music was uh, putting out some video games that they needed songs for. So a lot of great placements. Um, but then I decided to come back and do um, music education. So I went to Metalworks Institute, if you guys know. It's such a great school, such a great school for uh, developing artists or even music managers um, or even music engineers like uh uh, production from a production engineering standpoint they offer great courses so definitely recommend that school in Toronto it's in the heart of part of Mississauga uh, right right by square one so I went there and then I just got like I just got stuck in the in the thick of the art of Toronto that was coming up like Drake time it was it was it was the time that Drake was coming up and the the city was really really taken off well um at the time and i was like you know what S like screw la i'm staying here <laughs> i'm staying in toronto where where the thick of it is and so yeah i i got to uh i gotta finish my ep i'm perfect which i'll be singing a few songs at the lemon stage um yeah i i got to complete that and i got to open up for tinashe when she was in toronto for her her Toronto leg of her tour, um, lots of great stuff. Uh, so, you know, I'm always, I like to try and stay humble and always think that I'm, that I have, that I'm not there yet. And I always say little old me because like it, it humbles me to continue to always work harder for myself, but yeah, you're right. Like I've, I've, I've done a little bit. <laughs> I want to go back to the story with Kesha. How did that come about? Oh, that was a really cool experience. So I'll tell you the, 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 the real, real. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you the real, real. So in LA, I was working for a production team, like a production company with a producer and an engineer and me as a songwriter. So we were just a, a small team of three and um, we needed clients. We needed to bring songwriters, bring artists, through the studio um, to keep the studio busy. So we ended up, and we were a small company, so we didn't really have the funds to hire, you know, an admin staff or anything. So I was like, you know what, guys, during the daytime, I'm gonna change my name to Marissa Gold. Like I, like I made up a name, I made up an email address, Marissa Gold at whatever, whatever. And I would wake up in the morning, start calling and emailing a &Rs in LA from the labels. And we had this book of contacts. Uh, I think it was, I can't remember what the book was called, but it was a, a, a book where we purchased it and it had legit contact information. And I would just cold call. And I was calling like, I remember the games manager, um, 50 cents manager, like so many different, like real... <laughs> <laughs> and, and just so, before anybody starts jumping around, those kind of books are only in the industry. It's not like of you course. can just go to the library and buy it. So before somebody starts running out going, I got to go get this, it eh, doesn't work that yeah. way. Yeah, no, no, that's for sure, Rudy. You're right. Uh, these books are, are um, hard to get, to be honest. But we, we managed to get it. And um, I called Kesha and I landed on her and she was like, the real her <laughs> and I was like hi this is Marissa Gold uh admin for blah 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 studio um and she was like of course book me in I'm down I'm down let's do it <laughs> and I was like okay so we have a songwriting session with Kesha tonight and then when she came to the studio I was like hi my name's Taya <laughs> like I completely Marissa Gold's not here right now but um <laughs> So it was, it was a bit of a hustle. It was, we were all hustling and we we're all trying to get that, you know, get that opportunity. And we, we, I guess it paid off because she came through and we wrote a, an amazing song called La Disco Tech. Um, yeah. And it, it's, it's definitely one for the books. 
that needs to be put in when we talk about the word hustle that story needs to be put underneath that word hustle because when people use that term sometimes i don't think they really understand it you just explained what hustle is all about congrats on that uh, yeah yeah definitely oh, my my phone's like you're on 20 percent um <laughs> yeah so i yeah for sure rudy i was i was definitely hustling during those days and uh and it was a crazy time but it was so much fun because yeah. when you love yeah when you love what you do it it doesn't become a hustle anymore it just becomes like a an adventure well we talked about collaborations let's talk about new music for you what's going on because i've seen some videos that have been popping out uh for the last two three months what's going on with you with new music and apology for pointing i'm just doing that for effect <laughs> yeah no no that's all good but yes it's it's an exciting time for me um there has been new music uh not as much as i would like to be honest because i did take a bit of a personal break um for a bit to focus on um just my personal life i recently got married <laughs> Congratulations! Thank oh, wait, you. wait, hold on. Let's see the ring. Is the ring on? Oh yeah, yeah, the ring's on. Oh, he did good. He yeah, did good. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Oh, bling bling. You can see the little shine. Um, yeah. So we got married February twenty sixth. So that's like really new. Uh, it was just last month. Um, and so I'm just, I'm just enjoying that you know, that moment in my life for once in my life, because as you, as we just spoke about, I've always been hustling. I've always been on the grind. I've always been one project to the next project, to the next EP, to the next song, to the next show, to the next everything. And I love, I loved that grind. I love that um, life because I chose that life for myself, but uh, I'm getting, you know, a little bit, a little bit, it's not age. Like I want to say, I want to say I'm getting a little older, but it's not even about age. It's about a new taste for a certain side of life. Like I, I kind of, I kind of got a, a new taste of life. Like, Hey, I kind of want to focus my time on this for once, or you know what I mean? Like it might change in, in, it might change in two years. It might change in two months. Like we were so multifaceted as humans that we can be, a sister we can be a daughter we can be an a ceo we could be a mother we could be a wife but you know what i mean like so for me it's like i was really really focused on being an artist fully solely an artist but then recently like i was like you know what i, I want to be a wife <laughs> i want to I be a, a, a i want to i want to kind of dabble in this and it, and um i definitely manifested that whole uh that whole new adventure in my life and i and i found the one and we, we got married and it's been amazing and so i'm i'm just trying to like taste that and like take it all in and be present in that moment before i really get back into the hustle of things um and um yeah but definitely new music is coming um but music videos that i have worked really hard on these pa this past year is going to be released uh, all throughout this year, um, starting with Million People. Um, I believe we're going to be releasing Million People. That's that's a new one. Um, so I got you know I got awarded the Factor grant, which shout out to Factor. Thank you, Factor. Um, for any Canadian artists who don't know what Factor is, definitely research that because it's it's um, it's it's a whole funding opportunity that can help you with your projects and it's really lucrative to um supporting supporting you financially um supporting your career financially so shout out to factor i got you know i got awarded those um those grants to help me create my music videos and um they're gonna be coming out soon so look out for that on my channel uh tamara keese is my channel on youtube and yeah just new music, new life style. It's it's good because with this new marriage life, it's gonna inspire a lot of positive. I feel really good inside. Oh, sorry. 
That's okay. Uh, I I feel really good inside, and I can only imagine that that's gonna inspire some dope ass songs coming up. So I look forward to that. So then here we are. We've got these dope ass songs that are gonna be coming out. We've got a performance that's gonna be coming up on an iconic venue. So what's the show gonna be like then for us? Can you give us a quick tease? Um, a quick tease. Hmm. Okay, sure. I'll I'll sing something if you guys want. No, 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 no. I oh, don't want okay. them. No, no. That okay. that that man. That's like giving us the whole turkey. No, 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 no. I just want a quick tease and meaning. What kind of show is this gonna be like? What kind of songs? What kind of performance? You know, stage. You know, clothing. That kind of stuff. What can we expect? Okay, so um, basically, I sing. If you guys haven't heard my music, I sing. Um, a bit of pop R and B, uh, and my my vocals. I I am a vocal, like I am a vocal teacher, so I uh, definitely love to sing high, strong notes. So there'll be you'll definitely be getting that kind of vibe, um, strong vocals, and uh, my production is fun pop R and B. So it definitely has a bop to it. So um, that's that. And uh, as far as my style that I'll be wearing, I can't say too much, but it's definitely a fun, a fun spring vibe because we're finally stepping out of winter and into spring. It feels like it at least. Hopefully we don't get another snowstorm um, because you never know with Canada. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna i i plan on wearing some some um it's 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 black spring though it's not like colorful spring vibes it's like a black toned black toned Ooh. spring vibe i don't know if that makes sense but yep. yeah i cannot wait and i get to introduce you so i cannot wait this is gonna be so much fun <laughs> i say thank you so much for doing this interview with me i am so looking forward to seeing you on the lemon stage at the elmo combo i cannot wait to hear and see the new music and music videos that are going to be coming out just thank you for everything that you've accomplished in the past and continue to accomplish in the future because the canadian music industry only grows with artists like yourself thank you so much for the interview you're most most welcome rudy and you're amazing you're such a great interviewer i feel so comfortable and uh you 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 really gave me an opportunity to to just share my share my story so i really appreciate you 